So from here, let's throw it on a dome light. So I'm going to hit the tab key and type in RS dome. And you can see after typing just a couple of letters, you get the dome light here. So usually not necessary to write the full string out, but um, that is uh, how you can get a uh, light dome in your scene. Um, now let's apply a texture. The texture I'm going to use, I got off Polyhaven. I'll just kind of show you where, I'll just show you the uh, file I'm using here. It's this studio light uh, called Studio Small 3 off Polyhaven. So if you want that, you can, um, if you want to follow along exactly, that's the HDRI I'm going to be using. And um, then in here, you could actually select the file uh, by clicking this little icon right here, this little uh, pointer pointing at a page. And that'll take you to a file browser uh, where you can navigate to your HDRI and put it in there. You can also open up recent HDRIs from this dropdown, uh, that you, recent textures you've accessed from this dropdown. Or you could, uh, have, if you have your Explorer window handy like I've got right here, you could bring that over and grab your HDRI and just drag it right into the texture slot like that. So if I just bring this back off here and um, let's uh, start up the render again. You can see that it is uh, illuminating our scene a little bit more now. Um, additionally, if you're in, uh, depending on what lighting mode you're in right now, I'm just in headlight mode, but if you go back to kind of like, uh, what is this called, normal lighting, you can actually see the HDRI in the background of your scene. And if you don't want to be able to see the HDRI in the background of your viewport, you can just hit the D key and then go to the background tab right here and say untick display environment lights as backgrounds, like so. And in fact, while I'm here, I might change the uh, background color of my uh, view to dark. I kind of like working in dark mode uh, for whatever reason. And uh, so, yeah, that's how you can get an HDRI into your scene. And then from there, a lot of the settings are really the same as what you've uh, dealt with before. You got your backplate. We can just disable the background, although it doesn't look like it's appearing in my scene. And um, similarly with your uh, redshift lights as well, if you go into these objects, you have um, your settings uh, under this light tab. Um, you have your intensity and you can adjust the um, area, shape, size, and spread angles uh, like you would in any other application. Um, contribution levels, etc. Those are all located here. So I think what I will do with the RS light dome right now at this moment is just bring the intensity way back down to a value of 0.1 maybe. And I may, may go even lower, say 0.01. It's contributing almost nothing to the scene. In fact, if I turn this on and off, I don't see it doing anything but maybe adding a slight a hint of the reflections uh, on the front of the image here.